Good day, everyone. Welcome back for the simulation session for this R program, the Statistic Bootcamp Workshop. So let's first open the R Studio. So we'll do the selection 13 simulation. So one of the great advantage of R is to do a lot of random sampling and uh, it has a very big collection of uh, probability distribution like normal distribution, binomial distribution, poison distribution, uh, chi-square distribution and random numbers, a random number generator. So this makes uh, simulation and sampling very powerful uh, compared with other software package and it's free okay we assume you know the common probability and normal distributions uh, binomial distributions but we will be just using the main sampling techniques to draw random numbers we actually have been seeing the sample method before if you recall a few sessions ago that we were drawing 100 random number from 2000 numbers the 2000 number half of them are n8 not available numbers missing data then another random uh, 1000 random number is drawn from a normal distribution pure call okay so now we're doing a cost sample from digits 1 to 6 and we draw four numbers we select four numbers from these six numbers with the replacement equals to true replacement equals true means that uh, it says here should sampling draw with replacement now it's not providing much information so basically one to six numbers from the pool so first time we pick one number see the number is five then before the next pick up I return the number five back to the pool then the second time I will still every uh, number out of the six number have equal chance to be picked up so I will still have the chance to pick up the same number uh, the following draws as you can see here five six one six so there is two six there this is the effect of a replacement equals to true yeah okay if replacement equal to false you will see four unique numbers here okay so let's sample it again so we get five six one four wow almost the same but the chance of getting exactly the two same uh, four numbers uh, of two uh, between the two draws the chance is 0.077 percent that's a pretty small number like the 40 total uh, very difficult to win Okay, now we sample from 1 to 20 as is required, 10 digits, replacement equals to false. False is a default number. Well, it's pretty rigid. And, uh, uh, yes, that's the one. So you can see that 10 numbers was drawn from 1 to 20. Uh, unique numbers or unique letter the English alphabets so 25 or 26 English letters if we sample the letter we will get a, a letter with different order so it's a random order okay okay now something interesting here is we are flipping the coins, flipping the coins. So it has tail and hat. We use zero to represent tail and one represent hat. And this coin is a little bit uh, unfair coin. It favors for the hats. So the hat will have 70% of chance to appear as a hat and 30% chance of the, the, uh, the tail. So how, how do we do that? How do we simulate? We simulated it using the sample method again, and we say uh, x equals to c 
zero one. This is the uh, the pool we can draw from. Only two values, zero or one, and the sides equals to. We draw how many times? We draw one hundred times. Eh? 100 size equal to 100 and uh, replacement equals to true and uh, since we draw the zero from the pool then we have to return it or else next time you won't have the tail or heads again probability so this is advised the probability unfair coin so 0 0.3 match to 0 and 0 0.7 match to 1 so the position is important if you swap the 0 and the 1 then 1 will become 0 0.3 and 7 will become 0 point, uh, 0 will become 70% chance so we are following the requirement of the, the workshop here okay have a look at the flip so we have one one zero zero one zero uh, many one many zero so the majority are one how do we know how many ones do we have here we use the sum so all 71 of the uh the numbers here are one so it's roughly the 70 percent so each of the drawing the one has 70 percent chance zero has 30 percent chance there's randomness inside. So a flip coin is a binary outcome, so discrete binary outcome, and we are performing 100 independent trials, coin flip. So we can use the call binomial distribution. Binomial distribution is uh, ideally for the discrete binary outcome. Okay, so put documentation of binomial. So here is the binomial distribution. Now you have density function, probability function, quantile function, and the random function. No, random function. So we'll focus on the random now. Okay. So number of success binomial. Okay, where you need this. Okay. We'll get 67. One random variable represent uh, how many times we will get a hat when we are tossing for 100 times. 100 times. Okay, we'll give it to here. So it says another way, equivalently, we can request 100 observations each of size 1 with the success probability of 0 0.7, which is has of per, uh, 0 0.7. Uh, by <coughs> okay. Number of sides and the probability. Number of sides equal to 1 probability. Is our probability 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Okay, so this is the value. Have a look at how many ones we have 71. Yeah, 71. Okay, we are looking at other distribution now. Uh, normal distribution. So this is normal distribution. It also has density, uh, probability, quantile, and the random number. So we use this one on uh, random number 10. We draw 10 random numbers from the normal distribution. Earlier, do you remember we draw 1000 numbers? from the random distribution and saving to the y variable and the z variable equals to 1008 then we we'll combine together 2000 variable and then we sample 100 from them to simulate the missing data okay 
So now we do the same except with a mean of 100 and deviation of 25. The standard R norm will give you zero mean and the one standard deviation. So zero mean univariance. And now we are simulating a different one. So mean equals to 100 and SD equals to 25. Okay, so you have another 10 numbers draw from a different distri normal distribution with a mean to 100, shift to 100, and standard deviation to 25, which is 25 times than the standard deviation of 1. Okay. Okay, now we are doing another probability distribution, Poisson distribution, with mean 10. So let's have a look at the Poisson distribution. So n and lambda. Lambda is the mean, non-negative mean. Lambda is the factor of non-negative means. Okay? So we're using this R. Okay, with mean equal to 10, do we need to save anything? No. Okay. No. 5 and 10. Okay. Now we will create 100 samples of these 5 sampling. 100 times 5. And we're saving to t to my points. Okay, that's it. Let's have a look at the content of my poison. So here is 100. This is a 5 times 100 dimensions. So dimension uh, my poison. So it's a 5 times 100. So there is 100 draws. Each draw has 5 numbers. And now we use these column means to find out what is a mean value. So using this formula, column means, it will pick up the first column with the five numbers, get the average number of these five, and then, then move to the second column and get the average number of these five. So in the end, how many numbers will we have? We have 100 mean values. We have 100 columns. Okay, so that's it. So we can have a look at the histogram of these 100 mean values. 100 mean values. Histogram of these 100 mean values. Where right, can we see it? It's in the plot. So Okay, as you can see, this is a frequency diagram or called histogram of these 100 mean values. So we can see the mean value is centered around 10. So 10. So this is a normal distribution shape. Right? So it's centered around 10. So this is the effect of central limit theorem at work. So recall that the Poisson distribution, we define the mean value, which is 10, right? So we draw five numbers with a Poisson distribution with mean equal to 10. And these five values we collect once, then we collect another time, another time, and 100 times. And the central limit theorem says for these 100 samples of five values, if we create uh, the mean value, the average value of the five numbers, and uh, the distribution of these mean values, these 100 mean values, will be a uh, normal distribution, will form a normal distribution centered at the population's mean value. The population was the Poisson distribution uh, with the mean value at 10. So this is a central theorem at work. So the mean value of this average uh, five 
samples is actually form a normal distribution. It's not forming other distribution like uniform distribution or chi-square distribution. Now it will form a normal distribution, and that's the uh, central limit theorem. Okay, now, yeah, there will be a few more uh, distributions here uh, for sampling and the simulation in R, uh, exponential, chi-square, gamma, and so on. Okay, that's the end of the sampling and simulation session. So we hope you enjoyed. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.